Okay, so you've been on this journey for a while, so you you yeah. know a little bit about something. <laughs> uh, I, do. I hope I do. <laughs> yes, yes. So tell us, um, what is the meaning behind urban, not average? The meaning speaks for itself. You urban, but we not average. We which means we have more we have more within ourselves that we know about and yes. it makes us better than the average person because we bring so much to the table. Um, Say that. Black women, black yes. men, youth, we bring so much to the table that we don't even realize that the profit that's even made off of us is so much remarkable. And then when you go to that next chapter in your life, it's even more, millions and billions just made off of yes. us. You yes. Know? We, we have something beautiful that we're just born with. And black people, we're talented. Like, we're naturally we're talented me. and gifted. We have so many different talents, and yes. sometimes we don't use them all, you know, because no, it is a struggle. We don't know that we have them. I told you just, I just told you just now. I didn't know my daughter had that. What's in her? I didn't believe in my child. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> but and sometimes, yeah. And sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it is a struggle. So talk to us about that and um, just the different struggles that, student athletes or their families may encounter and what your company's mission is to help them surpass that. So um, I've dealt with so many kids that come to track meets or coming to football games or just doing mm -hmm. so much and don't even have the family support. They don't yes. have proper nutrition. They barely even have a water bottle. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of families just, okay, go to your football game and that's it. And I'll pick you up. Right. Whenever. The coach can drop you back off, you know, cause it's, it's kind of used as a babysitter sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah. Kids have that talent in them, and, and then when it's time for them to finish the cross, you know, make a make a what is it, make a play or make a, mm -hmm. a finish line, they have nobody there to support them emotionally, mm -hmm. and, and you know, and it's sad. And then of course, mm -hmm. it's at home, so I kind of give that back to the child that the child needs to build their confidence. Like, hey, you got a whole support you. What do you need? Like, hey, we're here. So you're like a support, a overall support system for them, like outside of school, outside of home, is you can come to us and you can have that safe haven. You can have that safe haven. Mm -hmm. we, you know, I may mean, can't be here for every single one, but we're going we gonna to get to you eventually. Yes. So what um what additional, oh, no, you're fine. So <laughs> um what additional, I guess, programs or um, different programs or different areas do you have within your um, organization that kids can get involved with? So we have, uh, we have a few actually. We actually have a homeless outreach program that I do, uh, I like the kids trying to get back into the community at least yes. once a quarter so that we can, so they, they know like, look, if I don't, you know, be here for my community, my community won't be here for me. So, mm -hmm. when I'm mm -hmm. back, you know, while I can, while I have my legs, I have the energy, I have the spirit to do so, to give back mm -hmm. to my community so I can, you know, get that in return. Right. Um, so also that we have that we have enrichment programs where the kids need for training sponsorships. We have a few things uh, for that. Uh, we have yes. the kids when it's time for them to not, you know, go to, to the next level and they're not able to afford hotel rooms and stuff like that. We try to be right. there to help compensate that as well. And then we're also working on a few developments, uh, kind of like housing and stuff like that for kids. Well, we already have housing, but it kind of goes to the families. Right, right. Everything starts within the home. So we kind okay. of families that really need us the most yes uh, so now we're trying to open up like a soon to be like different units in different states for homeless yes yes okay queen <laughs> so for those people who don't know exactly uh what is a nonprofit, so can you talk to um our viewers who are here about what exactly um a nonprofit is Okay. And then how they can get started. Just a little bit about the process. Is it hard? Is it easy? Um, did you find it to be it is. tedious? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't got to finish the question. <laughs> yes, it's hard. But but you have to have the heart for it. Yes. Because, for one, you're not going to be getting really getting paid for this until you become on a certain level. And then you can put yourself on payroll. Exactly. But something that takes heart. And this is something that, that you're determined to do you will be very, very, very successful with it. Yes. Because the other people who have that same mind frame as you who wants to be here to support not only the kids, but their families as well. Correct. So Correct. First, everything starts with paperwork. You know, you go to the Secretary of State, you do all your getting. A lot it. of paperwork. <laughs> a lot of paperwork. I'm like, I do this no more. But <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> so look, this, this has to get done.